So you probably all have heard about the new iOS 18 that Apple just released. And I'm pretty sure you also like the new update. But what if, just what if you have an older iPhone that didn't get the update and you don't want to upgrade phones? Now, if you couldn't tell already, we're bringing iOS 18 features to the iPhones as old as an iPhone 5S, and to me that fact is just crazy. Starting with the home screen. Apple revolutionized iOS home screen, where they now allow slightly more customizable icons, which you can also place wherever you want. Now, to get this feature on older phones, you'd need to jailbreak it, which is a really simple process that can be done by pretty much anyone on these older phones. And to find out more about jailbreaking, have a look at the link down in the description. And while you're at it, join my Discord server so we can discuss more tech stuff together. After jailbreaking, you have to download and install a tweak called Ridiculous. This will give you an option to put apps anywhere. And to call the new dark mode theme, download Darkest X Shadow from PackX Repo and a tweak called Snowboard so you can apply the downloaded theme. If you're on an iPhone 5S or 6, you can download a tweak called HS Widgets from DGhost Repo to get iOS 18 style widgets and to get rid of icon labels, you can just use a free tweak called Atria. Apple also introduced a brand new control center with multiple page support so that one page doesn't get too cluttered. And also brand new, more rounded style control buttons. Now, to achieve a similar look, you can now add links to tweak to make control buttons more rounded. Links also allows you to customize more stuff, not only in the control center, but also uh, actually way more stuff on your iPhone. And to get multiple page support, you can use a tweak called Duo. Also, if you want a control center outline like iOS 18 has, you can use a tweak called Tuglo. Now, Craig at Apple was also really focused on privacy. You can now hide or lock apps with Touch ID, Face ID or Passcode. Now to do the same on older phones, all you have to do is to install a tweak called Hide Your Apps, which works on iOS 12 and 13 and in some cases even on iOS 14. And if you want to get the same functionality on iOS 15 and 16, you can use a tweak called Spore. And to get a functionality to lock apps, you can use a tweak called BioProtect XS. The next feature we're gonna talk about is custom lock screen shortcuts. This feature, by default, is only supported on iPhones with notch. If your iPhone doesn't have a notch, you also uh, can get the uh, lock screen shortcuts even on default. So uh, if you don't have a notch, we can use a tweak called Home Gesture. These tweaks not only bring the default lock screen shortcuts to older iPhones with Home button, but they also give you an option to get gesture based navigation just like iPhone 10 and later. And to customize the default lock screen shortcuts, you can download a tweak called Quick Actions, which allows you to add any apps on your lock screen so that you can open them easily, just like iOS 18. Nice. AIM, or AIM, is a lock screen tweak that allows you to change the iPhone lock screen clock and add widgets to it. This feature was natively introduced in iOS 16 and it is still present in iOS 18, so I think it still counts. AIM supports any iPhone or iPad with any screen size starting from iOS 13, so if you're using an iPhone 5S or iPhone 6, sorry, but you're out of luck. These are all the new features that Apple introduced in iOS 18 that can also be replicated on older iPhones that didn't get the update. Additionally, here are some more tweaks to make your iPhone look and feel like a more modern one. Last look adds a 30 second long always on display animation effect that looks exactly the one on iPhone 15 and knowing Apple barely changes anything that's newly introduced possibly even iPhone 16 and 17. And since it only lasts 30 seconds, it can also work on older iPhones with LCD displays, which is a win in my book. Amber or troll LEDs from Pum Smart's repo allows you to change flashlight color from white to warm amber color. This tweak works with any iPhone with a dual or quad toned LED flash. Reach Player is also a really nice modern tweak that adds music controls and album cover in the empty space when you use reachability feature. We still have forever adds a system-wide music visualizer that can be shown on home screen, lock screen and control center, also in Spotify and Apple Music apps. There you have it, I hope this video gives you some kind of inspiration and creative ideas. On that note, thank you guys so much for joining me on this jailbreak journey. If you watched this video till the end, you probably also like it, so make sure you hit that like button. I'm Matthew, you've been watching Cappy Mac, and with that, I'll see you in the next one.